What's up you guys? This is Rob from the Gay Guy Plays and today on Dress to Kill we're going to be taking a look at all of the Tenogen items that have been accepted into round 13. Now before we jump on into the review I did want to preface this with I am feeling a bit under the weather. I'm having some throat issues going on right now. As you can see I'm kind of like in some raggedy house clothes. However I did put on a fresh face of foundation for you guys. Um, so I did want to say if I'm not as peppy or I stumble over my words a little bit during this review I just forgive me you know I'm working through it so we got things started out with the blade of the Lotus series by Beast Buster we're gonna take a look at Banshee starting out now the cool thing that I think about this um, what do you call this this series is the texture on the warframes themselves now when I was looking at it in game um, through the what is it called prime time that they were showing it tonight the texture didn't pop out as much as it does in this image so I'm really curious to see it actually in game first very very happy with the metallics and I do love this kind of like horned banshee helm that she's got going on this one's not necessarily my favorite of all of them but I do appreciate what he's got so I kind of want to check it out and see exactly where he's going with it the next up of course is Trinity which is nice because Trinity hasn't gotten a whole bunch of skins lately so I think this might be her second one so far Again, got the signature metallics. It's a little bit rustic, and you can see it's got some patterning on it. It almost looks a bit Celtic. Not a fan of the coloration here, but I'm wondering if that's something that we can kind of alleviate in game. So, nice to have another one added into the roster for good old Trin, and I'm kind of loving this little neck piece that she's got going on. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Um, so, next up, of course, is uh, Mr. Oberon, as we can see right here. I am a big fan of what's going on right here. I really, really love, I guess you would call it like the tunic banner front part area. I'm really, really liking all of that. However, the sign Donna that he's got on it right now is a bit distracting from the look itself. So that's a bit rough. Let's see if we can find another image without all of that stuff on it. There you go. Um, I'm gonna say helmet that helmet looks dope as fuck and I hope that it translates well into the game It's nice because it really kind of drives the whole night theme home But because of the fact that it's Celtic it really feels like it's like a woodland creature It looks kind of like um, what do I want to say like a little bit X-Men-y too because of the way the uh, the face is framed I love it uh, Moving on we've got right of this one. I'm gonna be honest with you and it's I don't really think that it has anything to do with his design in particular, but I think it's just because Rhino is a bit boring. This one out of all of uh, Beast Buster sets so far with the Blade of the Lotus, it feels a little bleh. Like the helmet isn't all too ornate. The, the metallic detailings don't quite save it. Like I wish it almost had a little bit more in order to like, I don't know, drive it home. But right now I'm feeling like uh, it's interesting-ish, I guess. Um, can't wait to see it in game. Maybe that'll go ahead and change my mind a little rose gold might flatter it But one of the things that I do love is the texture right here I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a little texture kind of like a chain mail No, it's not a scale mail a scale mail texture on the arms, which I really like You know, he's bringing that night stuff back and I could definitely appreciate it So moving along this one is I think one that we were all shocked didn't make it into the last set But it is the Excalibur exaltation skin by Cheshire Okay, we gonna have to test this out with Umbra. That's the first thing that I thought about. I was like, okay, it's Umbra time. We're gonna have to take a look at how this works with Umbra. I'm loving this chest detail right here. I think that's absolutely fantastic. And the helmet is is the traditional Cheshire spiky helmet. <laughs> like every single time, it's really interesting because as you um, keep looking at the designs of every single one of the creators, they have a very particular style. And for me, Cheshire is all about like spikes and pointy things. And you can see all of the details on Excalibur's um, torso and the helmet. It's all very much spiky. So I can't wait. And are these metallics? Because if th that stuff on the legs is metallics, that might be banging. I'm going to have to check this one out. This one is definitely on my like like 70 to 80% purchase because I've, I've seen snippets of it and it's been pretty goddamn gorgeous. So the next one, this one is definitely um, going to be a buy for me. This one is Reku's Ronin skin and it's really, really cool. It's got kind of like a similar feel to Loki where he has like this folded piece over the chest. Does that make sense to you guys? I, I hope for you Loki lovers out there, 
um, that does make sense. Reiku's always really good at toning things down, but adding really interesting details in there. One of the details that I kind of love is it almost looks like this center area right here. If you look at the back, is like clasped on. Kind of like how you would clasp on, what is it called, garter belts? And I was like, are those like butt clasps that we're looking at right now? Is it like clasping onto the leg areas? Interesting. Reiku always keeps it simple and clean, and it's got a really interesting helmet. So, can't wait to see. Umbra time as well. We'll see how that plays with Umbra. However, this one I don't feel is going to play as well. It might. We'll have to check it out. We'll have to check it out and see. Oh, now y'all know. Now y'all y'all know this was going to happen, and I was just waiting. I was just being a patient, good little boy, waiting for Hitsusan to work on the Loki Kodama skin. I even have the customization that I sent him here. I was like, put this up there. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I cannot wait. Um, he has made some changes in here. A couple of the things that um, he had before were, he has these kind of like layered uh, bits, almost kind of like, it looks like braids. You'll see it on the Zephyr skin on the arms, I believe. But one of the things that he did end up changing is he has these belt clasps that come around. So you can see these little claspy things here. I'm like, it looks so freaking dope even though he did have to change a few things i think that it looks absolutely insane he's even got some butt shimmers and you know all of, listen listen anything i can do to attract people to the buttocks area i am definitely all about so i'm excited to see this one i can't, this is gonna be a definite buy there's no if ands or buts about picking <laughs> except for the butt glitters of course there's no if ands or buts about this one this is definitely going to be one that um is gonna be picked up asap no questions asked let's move on to the next oh here's another one that is going to be a definite yes oh maybe that's not the right picture for it but of course the Nova Copra skin. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And this one is by Freling Hasmont, which I hope I'm going to get to see at Senocon this year. Let's do this one. It, it's just, I saw it in the actual, um, on the actual stream. And the shirt that she's got on is actually shiny. It's got some reflectiveness. It's very, very similar, at least from what I saw um, in, to, in reflectiveness to the Mirage. Uh, the Mirage silkiness that she that she had, or Mirage Prime silkiness, sorry. Uh, so this one looked really, really good. Metallics on this one as well. That helmet is dope as fuck. It's a must-buy. Now, speaking of another must-buy, right over here is, of course, Necros Grax. 8.0! God damn it! How many variations did they make you do? This one, of course, he's got a bone crotch. I'm, I'm talking about details in the right places. A glittery butt, some bone crotch, I'm all about it. And he kind of looks like Reaper just a little bit, so why the F not, right? I'm, this is, this is a must. Uh, he's got like mummy wrappings on him, kind of, uh, what to call this, Mesa-esque, how she's got the bandages on as well. Uh, totally, totally excited, can't, can't wait. Can't, it's gonna be another knockout, so. Let's move on to the next one, this one. I saw different variations of this one, and I definitely am digging this last one a lot. I'm going to have to see how it goes in-game. This one is by Procedicin, I believe. Let me make sure. Yes, it is by Procedicin. Yeah! Um, the metallics on this one, at least from what I've seen so far, have looked absolutely fantastic. You can see how the helmet got progressively doper and fucking doper, right? Because let's just be honest. Like, one, alright, two, better, Three, what the hell? That's like the mega evolution of Zephyr. Um, even just for that helmet alone, though, I might have to pick it up. It's it's good. We're going to have to play. We're going to have to see how it goes before I commit to anything. Um, but a lot of technical design here, which I like. Um, but really, I mean, I can't get away from that helmet. Like, everything else is nice, but that helmet is dope as fuck. We cannot, we cannot deny that. So, moving along, we have a helmet here um, from Yatus. And this is like a Necros kind of squid-like helmet, at least that's what they were saying in um, the game. Just note that this is a helmet, the rest of it is um, like a part of a different skin or something. But as you can see here, it's not bad. Um, it's not necessarily my favorite skin for him, but you know what? I think if you combine it with the right things, it could look really, really cool. So what they did note is it was specifically the helmet. So this is what we're taking a look at right now. So it's got kind of like some weird, I almost want to say it looks like baleen. Baleen. So if you want an undersea necros, I mean, that's perfect for you. 
Now, moving along from that, we're into the Cyandana territory, and this is, I believe, the Icarus by Omalayu. Oh, <laughs> that sounds really, really odd. Omalayu. Oh, now, you guys know I'm not so big on the really, really oversized, um, on the really, really oversized Cyandana's. However, you can see the detail work is gorgeous, absolutely freaking gorgeous, and it just looks super, super nice on the frames. Let's take a look at this. Right, so what you can actually do is, um, that's not even the final one. I think there's like one that's more finalized, right? There's another more finalized variation of it. Um, regardless, oh, this is the tail upgrade one. There you go. Um, so you can see that they kind of beef things up just a little bit more. The wing holograms are fantastic. This is not going to be something that I necessarily, you know, jump on, but I definitely know that I'm going to be seeing a lot of this out there in the fashion world because I know y'all, y'all like to go overboard and I'm like, you know what? Have at it. Have fun with that. Now, Beast Buster is back, and this is an asymmetrical side. Now, what is this one called? This one is called the Kunshu Scarf. Um, personally, it looks kind of like like you took the tusks or claws off of an animal and mounted them to your back and put a scarf on it. Not necessarily sure if that's what they were going for, but that is definitely what it looks like. It's asymmetrical, so it's always nice to kind of like have something a little bit different. As you can see, it hangs off to one side, but you guys know I'm not necessarily about the tattered aesthetic, so it's not for me, but you know what? If you want to do like a matching set with um, the rest of the Blade of the Lotus stuff, this will go really, really well with it. Now, this one, I have to admit I'm intrigued by. It's not my style. It's not my style at all, but I'm kind of like, it's really pretty. And this one is one of LED 10, uh, 2012s. 2012s? I get numbers fucked up easily. 2012s, perfect. LED 2012s designs. And I have to say, I don't like this kind of stuff, but this is gorgeous. This is fucking gorgeous. And it's making me go like, mm, do I? Do I not want to? It looked a little floppy on screen, but just like the way the gradients are set up, where the metallics are placed, it's classy. And it looks like a little man going, yay! Do you see it? Do you see it? His little face, his little arms, and he's got like little, like like this. He's got like a little, he's wearing a, he's wearing um, a, what is this called? A snuggie. He's going, yay! And he's got little feet and his little dicky right there. <laughs> so if you want a little man with a dicky on your back, that's that's perfect for you. This is a no. He knows that this is a no. I don't even feel bad just instantly shutting it down and saying no. No for me. No for me. Because I do not like weird, crazy, infested stuff. So this is actually another back piece. It's really, really cool because these things are actually stationary. The blades, I was watching this on the stream, so I was knowing. But all this little pustule stuff in the middle was all jiggly. And this is like a big pus nodule in the middle. I, I'm surprised. Listen, Lead did 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 the uh, did that one skin with um, hydroxate, and they made an infested thing, and they made the like little pustules glow. I'm surprised this one doesn't have like a popping animation. Ugh. This is not my favorite. I think it's gorgeously done, and had it been like clean. I would be okay with it, but I know that they love their infested stuff. They love their infested stuff, so well done. I'm glad you got in a, a jiggly Cyandana that is actually meant to be jiggly. You know, let's let's give them that much. DE always does these Cyandanas that are like, I'm like, that's not supposed to be jiggly. That's a metal. At least this time, the jiggles on that Cyandana, they are meant to be there. <laughs> now, the next one is another one from Lead, and this is the Slidarg. S Sildarg, Sildarg, Slidarg. So this is more fashion frame, and the one thing that I love about this is it's like meta fashion frame because it's a Cyandana with weapons in sheaths, and it's also got a freaking Sugatra on it. So it's like several fashion frames in one for you guys to check out. No, you will not be able to use those swords. However, they do kind of look cool on the back. Maybe you could even do like um like another dual swords placement and place more dual swords into the back so it just looks like you have progressively more and more weapons blooming from it. I know somebody's gonna go out there and do it. I think it's gorgeous. Um, I love the sheaths on both of these. I love how they're not the same sheaths too. Uh, I like this. I'm wondering though, because I don't remember off the top of my head, if the energy color ties in. Um, I think the energy color is just in the sword, but it might have been cool if like that was like glowing text too. Oh, I'm into it. And 
can can you tell me why I want that su just I just want that Sugatra. Can I just have that Sugatra? Like I would like to attach that to some of my shit. So that's definitely gonna be one of the ones I take a closer look at. This next one is another asymmetrical Cyandana, and this man is coming after my heart with a little bit of that. I think this is another one of Led. Led's got like four. Four Cyandanas in here. This is the Psydeco Cyandana. Um, oh wait, where's the close up? Is that not let, let's get a little let's get a little bit closer, sir. Um there. So as you can see, this one is another asymmetrical. It's got some great blending that goes along with it and some energy. It looks like there's some energy colors kind of like being weaved in there as well. I can't wait to see all of that in rose gold, you know, shine and shine and shine and shine. Yeah. So that I'm definitely excited for. Um, can't wait to see how it places in game. It's a little bit odd though, because this has got like some soft waves to it. And this is so sharp. I almost wish that there was a little bit of a blending of the two. But uh, let's go ahead and move on and see what's going on next. This one is one by Arsenal, and this is a pole arm skin, a corpus pole arm skin at that. Um, have we gotten any good pole arm skins? Like this one might be really cool to have just to have, especially because of the energy effects on it. I think it looks, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna be honest with you. With weapons skins, I don't really feel like there's much for me to say on them. It really comes down to like this is a corpus tech pole arm. It looks good and it has like cool energy effects. So let's go ahead and move on. Um, we have more weapon skins. I think, I believe the last bit of this is just gonna be weapons. And I believe this is solely, oh, this is actually for long swords. Okay, awesome. So this is this for all swords, which is definitely nice. And it's a nice, simple, clean sword. I don't really have too much to say about it uh, beyond that, but I mean, it is by Reku, so he is going to do things really, really simple and clean. Will look really, really good with that um, Excalibur skin that he puts out. This next one is from Stench Fury, and I do believe that this is supposed to be the one that came out with his Chroma skin. And this one's actually a hammer skin. This one has fire coming out of one of the ends. This is one of those ones that I'm like, it's not my style, but it's so fucking cool that I think I might just pick it up. Plus... I'm a fan of Stench Fury's work. So for me, it's kind of like, nah, it's not my style, but you know what? I can find a place for it. I can definitely find a place for it. Let's see if it's got any of the images with the fire coming out. Yeah, there you go. So it looks like that in game. All about it, but I think that might even just be the back end. I think that's actually the hammering end. We'll find out. We'll find out when it hits in game. And last but not least, this one I'm actually really excited about. Um, and I know that it looks a bit gaudy here like if we're if we're gonna be honest it's a little too popping for me but i can see where we would go with this skin right i think that there's gonna be a really cool energy gradient that we can put on in like if we get the right tones together it's gonna be really really pretty and i love the tail end of it because i believe it's kind of like energy pixels floating there um so if you guys are looking for another lisette skin definitely check this one out i have another list that's again that i actually picked up originally and i really do love that one too so it's nice just to have one of these introduced you know occasionally so that about does it for all of the um confirmed items that are coming out with uh Tenno Gen round 13 go ahead and toss in the comments below which ones are your favorites which ones are the ones you're just dying to get your hands on and which ones you're more curious to take a closer look at Regardless, that does it for me for now. And as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your body. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!